Welcome to another Impartial Theorist. This reality just keeps getting weirder and weirder. You know, who knew a reality TV star present and um, yeah. lost touch with reality rapper would come together. And <laughs> well, that's, that's debatable. We're going to get into that. Um, really, what's going on with Kanye? If people haven't been wondering themselves, uh, we'll give you our analysis on it. It's a fucking simulation, man. <laughs> like, how? How? And every everybody's wilding out on Twitter. Like, fucking Bill Cosby just got caught. Like, shh. People, people, who, people from 20 years ago would never have imagined this particular scenario. Like, who? No, no fortune teller could have predicted this shit. This shit is random as fuck. Like, Kanye is now fucking with Trump. Kanye released a song that is just him saying poop fucking a thousand times. And it's the hardest fucking track out, <laughs> in my opinion, right now. Makes no fucking sense. None of this shit. He wants to get political and do this whole pseudo fucking intellectual, like, phys um, what's the word called? Physiognoph shit. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Physiological. <laughs> not physiological. Like. Philosophical? Yeah, philosophical. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit too. <laughs> a philosophical fucking thing, and now he switched on to the full MAGA. And he's gonna put all of that into one fucking album. Like, he's he has like two albums that are coming out. Uh, the, his own shit and the shit with Cuddy. And he's produced four other shits. So he needs to cause a fucking stir. And what's better than the fucking troll the whole world? And I think that song was to, just a wink to like other people. That he's trolling. That this whole thing is a troll. But so that's that's the I guess another theory, which is what you're going with, is that the troll theory. This is Kanye's jumping on the troll train. He sees Trump trolling the world, and he's I think I think wants he, to get in on that. I think he does admire old like the Trump that we all knew growing up, the fucking shitty dude, but super rich kind of fucking guy. Yeah. Like that Trump that people made rap songs about. Like rappers. Yeah, when he was just yeah New York <laughs> dumbass billionaire real estate tycoon, but yeah, also just a shitty person. Yeah. But it was fine because he that was, was the world Trump. he was living in. Yeah, <laughs> that was his brand, and people people were like, "Cool, like shit, it's, it's all good. We fuck with you." Mac Miller made a fucking song about that shit, but now you can't do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But people have been saying that it's, it's because he's cushioned. He's so rich now that maybe racism doesn't apply to him. So he doesn't think it exists. Yeah, that's kind of my theory is that he's just, you know, he's been rich for like a long time. I mean, okay, like Chappelle, in one of Chappelle's specials, he like says something about how he's like looking forward to the tax cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're that rich. Like, like, it's I true. mean, that's who Trump and his administration is really looking out for. Mm -hmm. Like, rich people i think by in that sense they're not discriminating <laughs> by race or anything so yeah and i don't think trump is racist i think he's the kind he's the kind of old dude that if you have enough money he doesn't give a fuck about your color but if you're broke shit yeah. then he cares about this shit he's he's racist based on wealth and also yeah. color but wealth is the first thing yeah yeah, I mean, I'd also say he's just, like, not aware of his implicit bias. Yeah, like, that's another thing. Yeah. Like, the whole Central Park 5 shit that he did. Yeah, cause, and cause he still he, doesn't even, like, yeah, reflect on that at all. He, so he thinks, like, still thinks he was right. Yeah. Like, he, even though they low-key didn't do shit. But, anyway, oh, shit, I'm yet to open. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, but Kanye's just getting everybody, like, He's wild getting, getting everybody to throw some skin in the game and like, like yeah, John Legend responded and then he reposted oh, like oh, he, personally. Yeah, he uh, was basically saying that um, I know we're friends. I respect your decision. We're still gonna be friends, but like you got to think about how this these words affect the other people that are being marginalized and shit. And Kanye West posted this shit, and after John Legend texted him again, since you put it up our text, I have a new single out. And Kanye put that shit up too. It was fucking predictable. But anyway. Yeah, and then Chance, Chance the Rapper threw out uh, or tweeted out, not all black people are Democrats. <laughs> yeah. And that was not very well received. Yeah. 
Which, yeah, I mean... Call him Uncle Tom. And that's Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper has been like mini hey, Barack hey. Obama. <laughs> this kind of controls Yeah, didn't he recently, like, donate a million dollars yeah, to the Chicago Public Schools? He does a whole lot of shit for Chicago. And just because of that, he's thrown under the bus real quick. And then Donald Trump Jr. retweeted oh, some shit. Retweeted and said some shit on top. And after that, he was like, nah, this is what we're not going to do. <laughs> I think that was the turning point. He issued an apology. He didn't. He was trying to, basically trying to do the same thing that John Legend did, just in a public way. And you can't do that shit publicly. Yeah. Because everybody well, can I mean, take it, it just, how they want to take it. I don't know. I feel like that's just, like, it, it's just like, it wasn't classy. I don't know if that's even the right word of Donald Trump Jr. You know, it's like, they were... Like, like, they, it's just they, like they're looking for anything that they can make look like is in their favor. Yeah. So now they've got Kanye and they've got Chance. Shit, they got two black people that can fucking dance around for them. <laughs> that can make their cause look better. Cause, cause that's the weird thing about America. People are racist. Well, yeah, but, I mean, just like Donald Trump, like he should have just not touched it. I mean, maybe a retweet, nah, no, but in in, in, but in just, case, yeah. he came out of it well. Like Chance got hurt, not. Not Trump Jr. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess, in a way, maybe it, like, Chance probably picked up a few MAGA fans. <laughs> like, maybe I'm downloaded as acid rap. I don't think that. he wants those MAGA fans. <laughs> yeah. Probably not, but... But anyway, now... He's got them now, so... Kanye West tweeted a picture of himself in the MAGA hat, signed, by the way, because he's a hype beast. Yeah. And Twitter went wild again. Then, he, apparently, now... He's released a song about fucking Trump and shit with T.I. Where they do a I'm not racist kind of back and forth like conversation shit. And I'm not trying to listen to that. I want to hear the shoopity poop shit, but I want to hear <laughs> that shit. Show people that we equal. You gotta see the vantage point of the people. What makes you feel equal makes them feel no. evil. See, that's the problem with this damn nation. All blacks gotta be Democrats, man. We ain't made it off the plantation. Fuck you, you This sounds like it was recorded this week. Like, he spent more time, like, in production with the super deep poop shit. Because it sounds. It's, this sounds. Doesn't sound clean. Huh. So, I don't know. That kind of actually convinces me, though, that he is going, like, full. Nah, he could rec- he could have recorded this this week just to spike this shit up. Because it's Kanye. He can, he can do that. If he wants to record 100 songs today, he can do that shit. No, what I'm saying, like, I think it seems like he's actually, like, it, he's not really trolling about the, <sighs> like, MAGA shit. People say, like, oh, yeah, Democrats are really just holding black people down. Like, they're just, like, basically tricking them to vote for them, but not really doing anything. It's Republicans. Sounds like that's what he's, like... He's bought into. Yeah. 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 Which, I don't know. I guess it could be valid, but it's, like, I it, feel it, like you... It doesn't necessarily mean that he's he still fucks with, like, the alt-right and all the MAGA shit. I think it's, he's he's... Grouping all the shit into it, the good and the bad. And he doesn't realize he's taking on a lot of the bad shit, and I, that's what Kim made him like say on Twitter. She 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 tweeted some shit that she he tweeted some shit that my wife wanted me to make it clear that I don't agree with hundred percent of the stuff he does. I probably don't agree with five percent of the stuff he does. The only person I agree with is myself. Yeah. yeah. So that was basically his response to like you fuck with Trump deporting people and shit. Yeah. Like, but he still hasn't told us why he likes Trump, though. He's only I think it's just the, the Trump energy. Like, the, the, what is it, dragon spirit? Yeah, like, he just likes energy. that he's... I think he likes the old Trump, you know? He's still just he's on still that idea. With like, the old Trump. And I don't think he really is, like, thinking about the policies or, like, thinking them through, I guess. But... No, nah, he's in his own fucking bubble. But hopefully that bubble makes good music. Otherwise, fuck the bubble. <laughs> yeah. The whole honestly, I'm just fucking exhausted with this guy. <laughs> like, he's more exhausting than Trump, and that's hard. I know he is. He's like he is stepping into Trump's territory here. Just nah. Like I, I think he he has more. He can command the media even better than than fucking Trump. 
So what would have happened if Kanye did run instead of Trump? Because all you needed to do was capture the, the people and then talk shit and then... Maybe that's it. Maybe he, this is all just calculated for his 2020 presidential that's, run. That's, like, he's just getting the whole, like, he's going to scoop all those MAGA fans, like, and under... Then and then keep all his old yeah. people that just want to... And then he's got to just give, like, one speech about, like, you know, some, like, Democrat values and then, like, yeah. everybody will just love him, so... And all the people that like don't vote will yeah, just vote we because it's remember that Kanye <laughs> has mental issues. Like you, Trump obviously does too, but like Kanye yeah. is documented. But it's just a, I guess, a matter of like, are people gonna be burnt out on celebrity presidents by yeah, 2020 or not? Or are they? Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't know. It Hopefully could be yeah, are. Kanye versus Oprah. <laughs> I don't want to fucking see that shit. That's, that's, like that's, that's, once that happens, that means society starting to devolve. Because now it just give, it's literally a popularity contest. It's like how in high school, when you're like voting for sanctions, like we had sanctions, head, head boy and, and girl and shit, all those little shits, and it was literally just a popularity contest. And it wasn't even a fun one too. The people running hated that shit. Because you have to take time out of your day and go and fucking panda to a bunch of fucking kids. Like, nah. Fuck that. I don't want that to happen to America, man. It already does, but like, nah. Nah. Anyway, let's move on to some shit, other shit. This shit reads like a fucking episode of House MD. It's about the fucking VA scandal. Yeah, you know more about this shit. Well, I just love how this whole thing started with Ronnie Jackson, because he first... Well, he's been around in the White House since 2006, I believe, something like that. Yeah, he's, he's he was appointed by three. George Bush, so, and then he served all through Obama. And Obama's administration always had good stuff to say about him. But then he first, like, really got into the media, at least recently, when he gave the... Trump's uh, bill of health. Yeah, bill of health, and it was just bullshit. Yeah, it was just some wild shit. Like, basically, yeah. just saying that he's like has magnis- magnificent genes and is yeah. like gonna live forever and is like perfect health. Like it was some just King really Jones fishy. Shit. And then like all of a sudden they need a new VA director, and then yeah. Trump just is like, hmm, like I, it seems like he didn't even think about it. He's just like military health. Oh, I know the guy. He's someone like, who's, who's literally like done the it. last guy that it was like <laughs> talked to or something. So yeah, but yeah, since then, just a whole bunch of stuff has come out that Ronnie's. He was wild. He was drinking on the job, and he was the fucking candy man or whatever yeah. the fucking. He was just him. throwing out pills, Ambien, and downers. And, yeah, <laughs> but then he people have come true. out and refute it, including some people from the Obama administration, yeah. and then. But maybe they were getting the uppers and downers too. That job is stressful. <laughs> Sometimes you just need some shit to knock you out and wake you the fuck up. Shit. Yeah. You never well, know. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, probably, I mean, I could see that being legit. Like, yeah. everybody probably loved it. And then just one person had to, like, go and fucking blow it for everybody. Yeah, because everybody was <laughs> acting like. Their candy everybody was probably acting like it was a party 24 7. <laughs> Fucking, it was probably like some Wolf of Wall Street kind of crazy <laughs> shit. Nah, yeah. fuck that. I don't want to work there. Shit. Everybody's hyped up and fucking out. They do a bunch of coke and do a bunch of quaaludes. It's, that's literally it. Just yeah. uppers and downers. Well, and it, there was a somebody saying there was he, yeah, he oversaw a hostile work environment, which almost yeah. sounds to me like it could have been how what was somebody in that work environment was yeah, like. Yeah, the, the person who was doing that was the Democrat. The person who was talking shit at the arraignment. That's the same dude that he was battling with for his old department. Oh, re- yeah. well then, yeah. Like- which, which is why that guy was extra smug. But he's that guy's kind of fucked because now he has to run for re-election in 2018. Oh, yeah, and isn't and Trump is now calling on him to resign. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? The, John Tester. Yeah. He, he was on the other end of that, like, workplace dispute. So he was 50% responsible for that shit. He made, like, both of them made it a hostile work environment. And he's acting like, yo, you made it a workout. Like, he, now that he's he's on the committee, like, reviewing his shit, like, was it the confirmation shit? Yeah. Now that he's on the confirmation committee, he's talking shit down to him like, you weren't the second half of that shit. It's like getting a divorce, and then, whilst, whilst you're getting a divorce, you become the judge, and judge yeah. the shit. Like, it makes no fucking sense. But anyway, he's gonna get fucked too, and this is the only time that I'll say... A Democrat should probably lose their shit. Because he's just as petty as the 
person that is in trouble now. Well, anyway, both of them are about to be out of this shit, so. Yeah, so Ronnie threw in the towel. He's not going to go for it anymore. And no. So now we're waiting on Trump for his next appointee. So the Double KO. They both <laughs> knocked each other out. <laughs> shit. Yeah. So what was the point? Now they both fucked up each other's lives. Like, why? <laughs> if they didn't do all this shit. I don't know. That's just, you know. It's stupid. It's that hot in Washington, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah. Shit, you gotta remember, it's still, <laughs> there's still people. They get petty sometimes. Yeah, so we're probably going to be getting some really great material soon to come. Uh, Trump is saying he wants to do a weekly broadcast or a weekly call in to Fox and Friends after he did a half hour long rambling phone call. It's exhausting. Fucking exhausting. Yeah, but so you've got the Fox and Friends crew and just. I mean, it's half hour long, so, but they're just sitting there quiet most of the time, like, holding their hands, so I'm just going to play a couple of my my personal favorites on here, yeah. which were uh, <laughs> the beginning and end of the interview. Trump starts off by saying how it's a special day, because it's his, Melania's birthday. <laughs> it's like he get, actually gives a fuck. You know well, yeah, and then, like, they ask him what he got her, and then he just... It's so funny, like he gets called out because he, he didn't, didn't get her shit. anything. <laughs> yeah. So that means you remember that you still didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He wanted to like he wanted the the like sympathy me, yeah, points me, for yo. I I it's my wife's birthday yo, Donald and you didn't even fucking do shit for her. He's a fucking dirtbag, and I don't even like Melania. She's. Phone. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. President. These are the three well, good morning, saddest human beings ever. Melania's birthday, so I'm off the so bat, Melania's though. Birthday, off so the happy bat. Birthday to Melania. All right, hopefully there'll be visits in between, Guys, but I'm have you decided right on or, Do you want to tell us what you got her? <laughs> well, I he thought he was about to say some nice shit. In trouble. Maybe I didn't get her so much. I'll tell you what, she has done. I got her a beautiful The car. smiles are creeping me out. The yeah. fucking the <laughs> smiles. Though. His just response though. He's like, "Well, maybe I better not, cause I'll get in trouble." Like, he just realized right there he's in trouble because he didn't get anything. And then he's like, "Well, I, maybe I didn't get her so much. He admits yeah. that he didn't get anything." And then he says he got her a card, which is just yeah. like <laughs> psychologically, yeah, this interview is cause weird because it's literally maybe talking to yourself so because they're gonna bounce because. He, you know he has them on, on the screen in his office while he's talking to them. So he's watching their every move. But they can't see him. And they and they they already been predisposed to agree with everything he says and just feed him like basically just a fucking wall. Yeah. Like this must be so stressful for them. They can't fuck up and say everything. And if they have to do this shit every Thursday, yo, that would drive me crazy. Like, look at those fucking smiles. Like, it's creepy. You can see the sadness, like, right there. You can see the fucking sadness in his soul. I feel sorry for them, man. <laughs> but yeah, so, I'll just, as the interview goes on, yeah, you just see their faces. They just don't hands. really ever talking, just mostly, uh... But the way the interview ends is just classic, so you can tell how pumped they are for... They, they have to cut him off, it's great. So he's rambling on about Comey here. $700,000. And you look at the corruption at the top of the FBI, it's a disgrace. And our Justice Department... Wait, look at his hands. He's freaking out. This is just... Like that smile. He's like... Wait, wait, wait. Right here, okay? Looking at that kind of stuff, not the nonsense of collusion with Russia. There is no collusion with me and yes. Russia. And everyone... Yes, Grandpa. Yes, like it's just like your grandpa yeah, just like just giving rambling, you know, probably so saying some day, shit. Like. But it looks like you have a million things to do. Uh, no, he doesn't. And he's he like, no, really I'm does. good. No, I'm yeah. straight. Like I'll keep going. How is the president? Good? No, think about. I forgot. I actually forgot for a second that Trump was president. How the fuck does the president have time to call in every Thursday on a fucking show? Like he's Tom Brady. Like Tom Brady does that kind of shit, and even he doesn't even have time to do that shit. Like, what the fuck? What yeah. does he do? Like, what well, does he, just he do? he just watches Fox and Friends, so... Okay. Yeah. He can just call in, you know? It's, it's yeah, he just at, gets that instant every feedback. Every day at the same so. time. Do you know how committed or free you have to be to have that kind of, like, time frame? Like, you just know for sure. Yo, next week, 
<laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's what he's saying. He wants to start doing it, yeah, I guess every Thursday, so we'll... Uh... That's wild. Can you commit to something every Thursday <laughs> for a month? Like, Thursday. Specifically on Thursday. <clears throat> Well, I mean, we do this every Friday, so... It's never at the same time. <laughs> and there's not been no Friday for, like, two weeks. Literally, we couldn't even do that. And yeah. we're not a president. So, like, what the fuck? Nah. Yeah, so, um... <clears throat> we'll be sitting down with Grandpa Trump probably every week now. I'm not about to. to nah, that, uh... if we do that, we pretend he's... <laughs> if he does that, we pretend he's dead. So we don't have to do this shit. I'm going to start it with this, because this kind of blew my mind. So this is uh, PBS NewsHour, Mark Shields, a uh, pretty liberal guy. Actually, this is what he has to say about North Korea. I think you have to say that uh, while his unorthodoxy, his inflammatory rhetoric, uh, uh, his unpredictability has been, uh, in many cases, an impediment to... Uh, to thoughtful and uh, and uh, positive relations, actually, here it may have worked. I mean, it may be working. Uh, this is a, a positive development, an encouraging development. It's not the resolution. Yeah, it just Trump. was he. He's basically saying he thinks Trump's approach on North Korea wor it may be working here, no. and this is a result of it. But then the conservative columnist. Uh, it's not Sharon uh, says that uh, Mona Sharon says that. She is very skeptical of this. Yeah. This is just like something that the Un uh, or Kim family does like every once in a while. Yeah, just like just, they're gonna just do to this just to like... just to rein the sanctions back a little bit, and then after they secretly do whatever the fuck they want till they get caught, like because they're not gonna allow any foreign people on their fucking land to come check if yeah. they're actually doing any nuclear shit. They won't let that shit happen. Like they won't, they're not gonna let any fucking British people. Step in fucking North Korea. Like, fuck that. How are you going to police them? This isn't some Iran shit, though. Iran was a lot easier to deal with low-key than fucking North Korea is. Because right now, they've got, they're getting everything they want. They want to be taken seriously. They're being taken seriously now. Because they could blow up fucking America. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I mean, the they want to stay in power. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty clear. And you don't the be way with. that they've been and stayed in power is with nuclear weapons. So like, yeah. and I understand your shit because USA is is prone to fucking with people and fucking with other countries. So if they if they see something they don't like, they come and invade, and fucking do whatever the fuck they want. And Kim Kim Jong Un doesn't need that to happen. So now he has the weapons. You think he's really gonna give them up so America can do whatever the fuck they want again? Well, and I think, like, some, another thing that's going on is, like, Trump is talking about the JCP-10 or I don't, whatever, the Iran deal uh, mm, that's overturn. coming up and needs to be recertified, that's... and Trump is talking about pulling out. And, yeah, uh, Emmanuel Macron, who was palling around with Trump all week and making out heavy neck and whatever, <laughs> um, he, yeah, after they had this really, like, close, jovial week, then he had to call him out in Congress for the Iran deal saying, you know, I, I think don't, he was, I unless think he you... was trying to be his friend so he would chill the fuck out. Yeah. Like, I don't think he, he really wanted to do that shit. But Trump was man-crushing on him, like, yeah. hard, so... He, he... he does that with any fucking European person, man. Yeah. Like, if you have an accent, he's like a fucking, like, sorority chick. Just have a fucking accent. It could be a fucking Nigerian accent. It would work straight up. Trump is that easy, man. But yeah, so then Macron though says like, "Hey, if you don't have if you don't have a better alternative, then like, like don't, fuck don't it yeah, don't screw it up. Don't pull out unless you're offering something else." Because he's like, "France is we signed it. Like we're invested in this." So, but what I was gonna say is like, how does that set us up for how we're gonna negotiate something with North Korea? Like we're showing like yeah, we yeah. signed a nuclear weapons agreement with iran and we're already pulling out of it mm -hmm. and like talking shit about it the whole time so it's like why would that there's no that's gonna look yeah that why that's gonna set us up terribly for and that's why i think honestly mark shields is kind of just going way out but i, I there, think i like, think i think that doesn't really even matter because north korea never planned to fucking go through talks with american shit they're not they're not going to give up shit like that's the truth you really think they're not going to give up anything like nothing 
Because the Iran shit, though, is many I mean, they might. They, like, they, this they, this peace with South Korea, though, that could... Yeah, they, they, they want to be cool with South Korea. They don't, don't give a fuck about America. They're just cool with South Korea. Yeah, and they're probably but I feel gonna, like that's a pretty important step. Yeah, so. that's probably a move to get America out of South Korea. Maybe. Could yeah, be, yeah, they might sign a, a, an agreement. But I mean, saying, South Korea is a pretty cool place. So, if, like, North and Korea... Yeah. North yeah. Korea and South Korea, if they started getting along, that would probably just be good for the world and people in both those countries. So. Yeah, but I don't trust Kim Jong Un. I feel like this is just a sneaky fucking move. To yeah, I think I think the skepticism is definitely warranted because he's a sly motherfucker. He killed his <laughs> own uncle. Yeah, and he doesn't not creative, but not really creative. Like cliche ass movie ways, like two girls, com- like complicated cliche ways. Two girls, fucking. Big, big competition for the girls that they need to go like pick prick this dude or some shit and you kill him by doing that by not letting the girls know that they're gonna kill this dude who is in fact your uncle it's a whole fucking like thing like you just need one of your secret service people to go put some shit in his drink that's it they didn't need to do all this shit plan out all that shit just to kill one person but I think he likes it I think it's fun for him it's like a little game he can play international spy or some shit MI5. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, as far as the world knows, everything is still completely state-controlled media. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people have no access to the internet or, you know, just the outside world, which, I mean, that's just inherently wrong, in my opinion, because, like, how can you ever... Like, I mean, that, that... I don't know. To be, like, an acceptable... I don't know, I guess... I'm more of, like, a non-interventionist. I think if that was going on in a country, that doesn't, like, give a reason for us to, like, do anything about it. But, yeah. But then there's the whole nuclear shit, which, that, something needs to happen there. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean... But, but all I'm saying... What, what are other countries? What about, like, China and Russia? And China's the, cool in North Korea. Russia... Yeah, I know, but, I mean, about this, like, are they... They, they, uh, it's, they're appearing to put on uh, like a straight face being strict but people like specialists or analysts have speculated that it's just a it's just a facade that they actually might be funding North Korea because they a lot of North Korean trade goes through China so if China is, China issues sanctions that punishes North Korea a lot more than America can right now because America have kind of played all their cards right now everything is on the table so. No, but I mean, d- about China responding to, p- like, a peace negotiation. Oh, yeah, they're gonna, f- they're gonna fuck with it. Yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't they want the, the war to end? Well, we'll see, we'll see what happens there. I mean, this is kind of, nothing's really in stone yet. Um, yeah, they just shook hands and shit. Anyway, that's a fucking show. Yep. Shit. That does it for this week. See you next time.